Hello, and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel if you're new, and if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. Welcome to episode 21 of Fallout 3. In the last episode, we destroyed the aliens that were trying to destroy uh, the ship that we were trying to escape from. Uh, another uh, alien ship came, uh, same race as the uh, ones that we were on, uh, came on, uh, and, uh, you know, they tried to destroy the ship. Uh, so we destroyed their ship, and, uh, you know, now we have an alien ship of our own. Uh, but with that being said, we're going to be moving on and going to a place called the Pit. Um, it's a very dangerous place, um, and it's not a very fun place to be. Uh, but with that being said, grab your drinks, grab your snacks, and let's get into this. Alright, so let's grab some energy weapons. Actually, what do I have with me? I have no weapons. So, I want to test out the two weapons here. Actually, well, let's bring the the Drone Cannon XB. Because uh, I want to test out and see what they're like uh, against regular people. Against the aliens there. They were pretty pretty okay. Um, the weight's pretty pretty high, though. Um, so what I'll do is, well, actually, we'll put that away and we'll just have these two. Um, and, uh, let's see here. So these crystals are worth money. The scrap metal <coughs> is also worth money that we have. The pre-war money. Do we need pre-war money for anything in this game? Um... I can't remember. I know we need to collect pre-war books. Um, what do we got in here? Oh yeah, pre-war books, money. Oh right, we were collecting pre-war money. That was one of our things we're doing this. Uh, this series is uh, collecting uh, pre-war money. Uh, so let's drop this. And we'll drop the crystals too. Um... <clears throat> And I guess we will keep all that stuff. All right. Um, okay, what do I have for... Okay, so I don't want to keep all the ammo on me. I mean, I'm assuming that I can probably get more alien ammo, but I'd rather not, because you never know. Because uh, I can't remember if you can actually get any more. So we'll keep... We'll put that much down... Uh, that can go. And I guess that's good to go. Okay. Uh, so for the DLC we're going to be doing, I believe that, um, I don't think, so we won't be able to keep the things that we have, I believe, I think they get taken away from us. Um, uh, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything, of course, but... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw a 3 p.m. 3, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all right. And then it'll be, uh, <coughs> it'll be daytime. And yeah, all right, perfect. All right, so let's go. I hope things are going well with you today, sir. Okay, so daytime is coming. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, AM. Okay, good. Alright, uh, so where we're going to go is we're actually going into the pit. Um, so let's go... So we're going to go to Oasis, Oasis and work our way around. Closest way to go. Okay. So let's uh, come all the way down here. Alright. So let's try this out. We haven't used this yet. Um, we only really use the the rifle. Um, I think it shoots from both ends. So I think it's like a good double shot. 
Could look like there's two holes there, I think. Let's just take a look here. It kind of looks like it. And it does. That's kind of cool. Okay. Okay, so let's come down here. And, oh, there's a bunch of, do oh, Enclave over here. Uh, so let's save this up right here. And uh, let's test this out. Let's see how good the alien guns are against uh, people. Especially uh, powered armored uh, soldiers, which is going to be pretty interesting. Um, okay. <clears throat> I should have brought the, that, uh, the cannon. The XB or whatever. I can't remember what, what it's called. Um, Alright, so let's come down this way. See if we can get a critical shot of some kind. Whoops. Alright. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, so they do pretty good against robots. Oh! Oh, jeez. Ooh. Oh, someone fired a rocket. I wish the trigger... Because I'm using a, I'm actually using a PS3 controller, and it's definitely not the most responsive sometimes. Um, okay, so let's just try. It doesn't help that I'm far, pretty high up too. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's try this. My aim definitely isn't the greatest. Oh my God, I'm nice. Critical strike. Pretty cool. All right. Um. We may reload this, because I don't want to, like, have all my health used up. Oh, shit. Ah. Fire again. Okay, reload. I keep pushing the wrong button. How do I keep missing? Oh, so it is pretty strong, I guess. Alright, so how many are there? So that's one guy down. What's this? Okay, uh, let's see here. Finger. Oh, nice. You know what we'll do? We'll clear these guys, go back to Megaton, and um, we'll sell the stuff, and then, uh, then we'll do that. Might as well. Okay, what are we doing? There's the fire guy, so... Get that shit out of here. Nice. Wow, so these are pretty good. So the Hellfire armor is really cool. Um, fire resistance and all that stuff as well. Um, aside from the T45, it's one of my... It's one of the armors that I do like. And that's also one of the things that I have in... Wow, the thing is pretty strong. Um, okay, so let's get out of here. Um, in Fallout 4, I have the... Um, both sets of the Enclave armor, again, through the Creation Club. Um, so it's not in the base game. I have... <coughs> both, like I said, so I have the... Black Devil Power Armor, uh, which would be technically the Advanced Mark uh, 2. Um, and then you have the Hellfire Armor, which is called Hellfire, um, which would technically be the, the Advanced Mark 3. Okay, so now that we have these uh, things, so let's take a look at the Hellfire Armor. Because I don't think you guys have seen it yet. <coughs> I'm actually surprised that it's already shown up. Because um, this armor isn't supposed to pop up until later parts of the game. This armor looks really cool. And uh, it's pretty strong. It's actually one of the strongest power armors in the game. Um, I know it says damage resistance 7, but again, they're pretty... Or sorry, that's a helmet. So 34. 
um, damage resistance, and it's not even fully repaired compared to like the. Hold on, 34. Oh, this is higher. This is 45. So I don't know what this would be uh, when it's all the way up. Maybe they're the same. I don't know. I know the Hellfire armor is supposed to be one of the strongest type of power armor in the game. Um, so we got these. Heavy incin <coughs> incinerator, and that's broken. Um, again, you guys would recognize the incinerator from New Vegas, from those who have watched my New Vegas playthrough. Um, okay, so let's go all the way back to uh, Megaton here. Oops. And uh, drop the power armor off. <coughs> uh, grab some more health. And, um... Oops. And, um... Yeah. Okay, so let's drop off... Um... I don't want to use these, because it made the game... It would make the game... The, the, I don't want to stuff way, way too easy. And we don't want it to be, like, you know, super de duper easy. Uh, so we'll bring this with us. Um, drop these off. Um, I don't. Do I want to wear this instead? Because well, I can't remember if there's any fire in, uh, in the pit. Um,. I think I already have Enclave Power Armor. I do, but it's broken, which is pretty much perfect because we can use this stuff to fix it right on. Look at that. All right. Um, okay, so let's see what the difference is. So this is just red resist. Actually, you know what? We're going to want this because there's a lot of... I think there's a lot of radiation in uh, the pit. So we'll just use these two. We'll go to sleep. There we go. It is 4 p.m. Um, let's just wait again a couple hours. Because um, I don't want to be starting the ad on uh, at night time. And 6 a.m. It's pretty good. Okay. Um, so. What ammo do I got? I got this, and we got this. Okay, so what I what I do want to actually bring with me though um, is where is it? Bring the God's rifle with me because it's pretty strong. Um, scrap metal. I have no idea. I know I'm looking for something, but I don't know what I'm looking for. I get so sidetracked, and my brain just kind of bounces all over the place. Um, Cause in my my brain, I'm, I feel like I have a feeling like you know you're looking for something, you're looking for something, but I don't know what I'm looking for. Um, incinerator. Okay, I do want to fix that. So perhaps okay, what we'll do is we'll drop the incinerator off. And then eventually we'll get one. Because um, we're going to be fighting the heavy troopers eventually anyway in the main story. Um, so we got this and we got this. We should be good to go. Let's bring this with us. Alright. Okay, so let's go back to... No, one will do. We'll go from here and then up. Because what we were really doing was pretty much coming down here anyway. So let's just go to the broadcast tower and make our way up from there. Okay. I don't think we turned it on, though. No, I guess we did. Okay. And we already took out the Enclave... Oh, shit. We already took out the Enclave, guys. We don't have all that much to deal, to deal with and uh, whatnot. I'm glad I took the animal friend for... I'm down. So, there, I guess there's a lot of places we haven't found yet. But that's okay. I'm glad I took the animal perk though. Because I really don't want to deal with Yagwais and stuff like that. What would that sound? I thought I heard like a crashing sound or something. Yeah, right. Oh, 
Oh, there's the Agua. Yeah, see, I told you. That wouldn't be fun. Oh, they took out a hunter. Well, let's just grab all of its stuff. I feel bad for Mr. Hunter. Alright, so one thing we do eventually have to do before the series ends, we have to get the giant teddy bear. Uh, we're not going to do that in this episode, though. It's going to be a little while. So we still have a little bit of a walk. Hmm, okay. Is there anything down here? No. Alright, let's come down here. There's some three. Oh, look at that. They're. Oh, Jesus. What the hell? Mole rats. Well, mole rats killed a wastelander. Well, that's not very nice. Alright. Alright, so let's save this here because we don't want to walk all the way. Just in case we die. You never know. So, there's something down here. Um. We might as well just... Oh, it's another uh, station. We might as well just find this. We're already here. And you get experience for finding places, so it's all good. Okay, I guess we gotta go in. Some places you have to go right in the area for the... Oh, you know, there we go. Power station. Alright, let's just go inside the power station. Uh, is there a switch... It's not whoa. No, I thought it's a explosion or something way over there. I guess not. All right. Open door to substation. Okay, so what's in the substation? Apparently nothing. So what do we got? What's this? Oh, Nikola Tesla. Nice. Burn book. Burn book. Uh, bottle cap. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we need more. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Um. Can we lock quick? Can I do that? Okay. Apparently, we don't have a high enough skill to do either one of those things. Oh well. All right. Back to the. Oh Jesus. Ah, uh, this is not what I wanted. This is bad. Oh, I get trapped myself, didn't I? I like it. Oh god, I got him too. Nice. This is what happens when you're a good guy. If you guys remember, the talent company basically comes after you. Because you get uh, people put contracts on you in the wasteland for being too good. Did I kill the other guy? No, I knocked him down, I guess. At least they're smart enough to not... Wait, where the hell the other guy go? Where'd he go? Did he run all the way around? Where the hell, where'd he go? Oh, he literally ran all the way around. Okay. And I missed, of course. Nice. I'm glad these guys don't use plasma guns because that wouldn't be fun. Go away. Alrighty. And there's another one over the heck. That was weird. Okay, I guess we'll just collect this guy's stuff too. And his rifle got stuck got wedged in between the metal and the pole there. Alrighty. Well, more fingers means more money, so it's all good. Okay, so I don't care for that. Don't care for that. Like we can go to alright. Alright, so let's check out... How many fingers do we actually have? Seven. <coughs> I 
And I have... What other gun do I have with me? Oh, I got a bunch of them. I thought I was the only one added to that and one other one. Okay. So I believe either raiders or... Well, no, I think at this point in the game, I think the Enclave would have control of the towers now. Because uh, I don't know if you come here early game, there's raiders in some of the towers. So... Oh boy. It's a long journey. Real? Even almost there. Oh, we're almost there. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, save this up here. Okay. And I think we're pretty close now. I think it's just up here and around the corner, I believe. I think, do we need to go up though, or down, or... Yeah, I think it's up here. No, okay, we're gonna go this way then. So much for this being easy. There we go. Okay, yeah, I think he's yeah he's at the radio tower. I believe he's at the radio tower anyway. Yeah, I think he is. Oh jeez. How did I miss? Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's just grab. You could have at least helped me with those guys. They finally tracked me down. I thought I'd have more time. You've come about the broadcast, right? Risky, I know. But it had to be done. So you know who I am. Who are you? Let's see here. Um, I came because of the radio message. What's the problem? Well, now, a hero. Look at you. I come from a place far to the northwest. It's called the Pit. It's, well, let's be honest. The place is a nightmare. Radiation, mutation, disease. But the worst of it, my people, some of the only survivors, are slaves. No big deal, you're thinking? It's a rough world, but I have a chance to free them. All I need is an outsider's help before that chance is gone. Did you escape or something? Yeah. That's why these guys were after me. As long as I know about the cure, I'm a threat. So I ran. And you can be damn sure there'll be more of them coming. Wait, slow down. The cure for what? The pit's a mess. Nearly everyone who lives there is either sick, dying, or worse. It's the water. And the air. You can't escape it. You stay there a few years, and no matter what, it'll get you. But the bastards who have my people, they found a way to cure it. And once they have that cure perfected, we don't stand a chance. So we need the cure to bargain for our freedom. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Well, you might try a disguise. They probably won't let some random armed waster pass the gates. But if you look like one of the working stiffs, you should be able to slip in with no problem. Lucky for us, a group of slavers is nearby waiting to make a sale. You should be able to get one off of them. They're off to the west, near the tunnel that leads to the pit. That should be our first move. Yeah, disguise is a good idea. I'll do that. Okay. You go get the outfit. I'll stay here and meet up with you when it's done. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. You won't be coming back here for a while, so keep that in mind. Alrighty. So, radio tower. Alright. Um, so let's grab these. All the stuff we're gonna need. Uh, where are the other people? Uh, okay, here. We're probably going to make another trip back to Megaton, to be totally honest. 
So here's one of the new Raider outfits um, for this add-on. Um, okay, let's take the <coughs> power helmet off. Let's see. So this is what one of the uh, armor looks like. One of the new Raider uh, armors look like. It was, I kind of like it. it. Looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, looks interesting. Okay, so we got to come down here. We got to get that sleever outfit. Uh, so let's do that. And then once we have the raider outfit and all that, um, maybe we'll hit back Megaton. We'll see. Um, make a sale, buy some stuff, um, and then uh, yeah, continue forward. Why? Who are you? Hey there. Random hunter. Okay. Oh, death claw. That's definitely what we need right now, right? That's that's definitely what we need right now. Oh, we knocked it down. God damn, I want to grip with the legs. Oh, nice. If we can keep it laying down, we should be safe. Stay. Okay. Is there any more? Because I was... I don't want to run into any of those guys, especially with how my health is right now. Uh, it's not going to go very well. I mean, later on uh, in the main story, uh, we're going to have to deal with a bunch of them. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but I don't want to be fighting them right now. Okay, so it is over here. So let's save this up right here. Well, that's not very nice. Hey, are you the guy? A hundred percent. Yeah, that's me. I'm here to buy these slaves. About damn time you showed up. We've been waiting here for fucking ever. Whatever, man. You're here now. I just hope you're ready to do business. We got three. Usual price, two hundred each. Boss says no trade, so cash only. I need to think about what? it. What? Are you serious? You'd better hurry back. Okay, so this... Okay, so what I'm going to have to do... Is I'm going to have to take them out then. Alright. So... This is going to be interesting. Okay, so what do we got? Bottle cap mine... Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Um, okay. Oh man, not looking forward to this. With that smokes, yeah, it smokes, all right. Man, this is what, empty, all right, let's do this. Should I missed. Alright, that's another one down. Oh, Jesus. Okay, where are they? Oh, there's one. Oh, I missed. Alright, that's Ramsey down. Ah. Yep. 
I knew that was gonna happen. Alright, let's try this again. Um, so how much caps do I even have? 27. Okay, so let's, uh... Take that and that, alright, um... Alright, I guess this is how we're doing it then. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we got two of them. Oh, oh I blew a car up or something. How did I miss? Oh, nice. So he's down. Okay, so we got one more guy. Nah, I missed. Oh, I got him. There we go. Nice. Awesome possum robots. I think I think that's all of them. I think there's only three, right? Did I kill all this labor? No, I didn't. Oh my god! Are you killed them? Are you real? You're here to save us? Where are we going? I'm not taking you anywhere, but I need your clothes. Oh wait, you're free now, but I need your help dressing like a slave. Wait, we're free? You're serious? You killed them and we're just free to go? You're either the kindest person in the world, or the dumbest. Either way, thank you. I can help you. It's the least I can do. What is it that you need? A set of uh, slave clothes. Where can I get some? That guy over there on the mattress died last night. I never did get his name. If you don't mind the smell, you can just take his. Okay, well, great. Thanks. You know, be careful out there. We will. Thank you again, stranger. We owe you our lives. Alrighty, so okay, so let's grab the slave outfit, and uh, okay, let's see here. Do I really want to go back? Mm. Not really. We'll be all right. All right. So let's. Uh, Oh, there he is here. All right. You got a disguise. Good, good. We're ready to head out. I'll meet you up by the tunnel that leads to the pit. You go get whatever you'll need for the trip. Ah, where'd you come from? I followed you. I've gotten very good at staying out of sight when I don't want to be seen. All right. Meet you by the tunnel. Oh, is this a train tunnel? Oh, this is the train tunnel here. Alright, so let's save this up here. Okay. You made it. Are you about ready to go? Okay, so let's heal up a little bit first. The first junction is just down this tunnel. Alright. Let's do this. Alright, dog meat is waiting outside of Vault 101. Alright, that's fine. Hang on, someone's coming. Let me do the talking. Actually, let's put on...
you guys doing here? I might ask you the same thing. You got a lot of guts coming back to this place, man. Yeah? Well, I guess that's the difference between us. I have a lot of guts. You don't. Oh, jeez. Why did I have to start there stuff? All right. Uh, let's see here. That will make. Here come more of them. Watch out. Oh my God. Glad that's over. All right. Well, that was easy. Whoa. I have no idea what he's shooting at. Whoops. Did I take some stuff that I don't need? I don't need any of these. I'll take the laser rifle and that can go. There we go. Um, alrighty. Okay. Oh, there we go. We've got to keep moving. There's no. This is as far as I can go. It's up to you from here on out. Don't expect to take anything you have in with you. They'll strip you clean, but I'll find a way to get your things back to you. Once you're inside, find a slave named Adia. She'll be able to help you. Remember, your goal is to get access to Asher and find the cure. After you have it, I'll contact you. You sure I can't sneak a weapon in? Well, you might be able to get a small gun or a knife past them if you conceal it just right. I can do that for you, but I can't promise that they won't see it and just gun you down. You want the gun or the knife? I'll take the gun. Okay, here you go. Don't take it out until you get past the gate. You clear on what you need to do? Get in, find Medea, got it. That's it. Good luck. We're counting on you. All right. Okay, so... Alright, so we gotta take these guys out, wherever they are. Wild men. So these are people who are basically, who are, uh, sick. Like, they're sick with their disease, like they've gone crazy kind of thing. Oof. I wasn't even aiming. Both shots. Oof. Nice. Okay. So I do want to show you guys something. Um, okay, so this is. Uh, I think it's the Pittsburgh Bridge, Bridge or something. So the water in there. It's so irradiated. Um, that basically it's the highest radiation, and I, I believe it's the highest radiation in the game. Um, because there's one spot um, in the Capital Wasteland just outside. So if you guys remember when we got captured by the Enclave, um, and. I'm pretty sure we did that in one of the episodes, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, there's a vault you need to go to, and uh, you have to go through Little Lamplight. I can't remember if we did that or not yet. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, 
you to find the gut and all that. I think we did. And anyways, um, so the vault that you need to go to outside of the, the front of that vault is super, super irradiated. And you can't get in and out um, unless you, like, spam, like, right away, like, like a crazy madman. And even then, the door to that uh, vault is uh, inaccessible, so you can't even get there, so it's pointless to go in and out. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go like this, go like this. Um, Alright, controls. I'm going to change it to this for a quick second. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to save this right here. And um, so what I'm going to do here is go like this. Oops. Now that puts God mode on. Basically, we can't die or anything. Um, so I'm going to jump into to the lake and just show you exactly how irradiated it is. As you can see, it's like 300. Keeps going higher. 388. Oh, wait, hold on. So it's 346. 360 yeah so as you can see the radiation like in this water is really bad so when Werner said like they were sick and there was lots of radiation and whatever like they weren't they weren't joking it's it's pretty bad um, so yeah so let's reload this here and what we're gonna do is we go like this Oops. Take the God mode off. Go like this. And whoops. Controls and put the controller back on. And all right, let's continue the uh, let's continue the pit bridge. All right. So I think. So I know there's mines, and I know there's a dog here, so we've got to be careful. Because it's, it's definitely not safe. As you can see, there's one mine right there. Or not. Jump up on the car. There you go. And that's another one. Come on. Go over. That's another one. All right, get on top of the car. There we go. No, no. I want to try and get under the truck. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Um, I can't remember how to. All right. Just kind of go like this. I thought there were dogs on the road. <coughs> oh yeah, there are. There, there they are. Get out of here, dog. There we go. Ooh, dog turned to goo. I'm gonna go get some more rat trying to get across the bridge. Alright, fine. You want to play that game? I'll play that game too. I get him. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Yep. Okay. That a yeah, it is. 
All right. So we can just run past all these, run on the car, dodge all the mines. Oh god. Except for this one. Doop, boop, boop, doop, boop, doop. All right, see if we can get the sniper guy from all the way back here. Probably not. Did the dogs just run into the? That's one. Nah, it's two doggies. Alright, let's see if I can get the sniper, guys. Okay, we're out. Oh, there's one there. God damn it. How do I keep missing? There we go, that's one. Okay, let's turn the draw distance up a bit because this is driving me a bit crazy. Can I get up? Oh shit. Oh. Ow. Okay, so I guess I can't, alright. Okay, so I guess there is only one person. I'll take that. Okay, so I believe that's the gate that I need to... Yeah, oh shit. Alright, um, so we're gonna do... Small guns, which is, yeah. We'll rank that up. And then we're just gonna throw that into there. Um, intense training, let's do that. Oh, it's a slave. Bye-bye. No. Nothing in there. Okay, so we have to dress up into the... Put the suit on soon. I'm gonna put... Drop that. And I'm gonna do do that. All right. So let's uh, save this up now. And we are going to put on that. Take the gun off. And I gotta remember. Okay, we are just a lowly, pathetic slave. I love it. Another slave wanted back here, huh? What's wrong? Couldn't get over the bridge? You're lucky I don't fucking paste you. Why I should... Wait. 
What the? Now would you look at this? Where'd you get all this shit anyway? Whatever. Mine now. Thanks, Gab. I hit the jackpot today. Now get back in there and get the work. Or next time I'll just stake you out there for the trods. Alright, so I, at this point now I lose all my stuff. So I'll have to get back to work now. What's that? I don't know what that is. Um. Alright. Friends are dead. You're next if you don't talk. You helped them escape. I know it. All right. So as you can see, Werner wasn't joking when this place is uh, really bad. This place definitely doesn't look safe. Let's see here. What are these guys doing? Don't hurt me. Can't talk now. Ooh, their skin doesn't look very good. Well, I guess they're all sick and stuff, and looks like they're using these chainsaw type looking things. Alright, uh. Let's, uh. Go up here. Let's just take a look around here. Okay, what's down here? Oh, that guy's welding. Hey there. Welcome to the family. Family? You're all slaves. You're not family. We are what we wish to be. I found this book once, over by the library. Medea read part of it to me. It said, A good traveler has no fixed plan and is not intent on arriving. So you're just happy to be where you are. I'd like to be free, but I'm not. And the harder I cling to that idea, the more miserable I'll be that I'm stuck here. And this work is hard enough without extra misery. Speaking of which, I should get back to it. Hmm. All right. Go door to the mill. Okay, let's go find this media person. Oh, there she is. Werner sent you, didn't he? Good. He finally found someone. We can't talk out in the open like this. Meet me in my house as soon as you can. We'll talk there. Okay, so we have to... meet with media in private. Okay. Don't you look at me! So I guess we're going to her house now. Don't look at me. The guards will suspect something. Get away from me. The guards can see us. We'll talk later. Oh, it's getting dark. Out. What time is it? 8 p.m. Okay, let's wait till daytime. It's getting pretty dark. There we go. can talk now but we shouldn't take too long they saw you come in here so they'll come looking for you if you take too long I have a plan for getting you into Asher's palace but we need to wait in the meantime you're going to have to blend in you're right what can I do so I don't stand out I don't know what you saw on the way in but the guards don't really take kindly to workers just standing around you're gonna need to look busy or they'll sniff you out pretty quickly and if they get too close, oh, you don't look like you belong here. So I'm going to send you out to do a job that will keep you away from the guards. Okay, whatever it is, I can handle it. What is it? Outside of the mill, there are a bunch of old steel ingots just lying around. 
Every so often, the foreman puts out a work order to collect them. It's practically a death sentence, and they never assign it to anyone. They make us pick who's going to do it. Bastards. And let me guess, the area is full of super mutants. What in God's name is a super mutant? You know what? Never mind. Whatever they are, you're wrong. What it is full of are trogs. What is that, some kind of fish? You're either an idiot or a smartass. Either way, I don't think it's funny. They're what most of us hope we never become. But the contamination gets to everyone. For most people, it's some form of cancer. Sometimes harmless, sometimes not. For others, the contamination drives them insane. If it doesn't kill them, it changes them. They become animals. Deformed and inhuman. It's not pretty. They're everywhere and they kill on sight. So, can I get some weapons? I, I can't really help you there. Ask around. Maybe check with Marco in the mill. He's been making some of our tools into weapons. You might even be able to find a gun on one of the dead bosses out of the steel yard. They... What was that? What's going on in here, Medea? Who is this scam? Um, nothing. Uh, nothing, sir. I, I was just telling this new worker about the job the foreman posted. Oh, yeah? So he's the one that's going out to the steel yard, huh? Yes, sir. I told him what he needs to do. He, he knows. Ten ingots, as fast as he can. Well, then. I hope you also said goodbye. <laughs> All right, playtime's over. Get to work, grinders. Home sweet filth. You should be out gathering those ingots. The guards won't put up with a lazy slave. Okay. So let's go get the ingots. What are you so there is a, I guess like a, a trophy or something to get uh, all a hundred ingots. Um, now that's a real pain in the ass. Uh, to be completely honest, so I'm not going to do that. You do get a pretty, uh, you do get rewards uh, from the uh, from the foreman guy or whatever. Uh, for the more ingots you get, you know, the better the reward you get. Um, so, <clears throat> but ten is the minimum, and I think we're just going to do that because I remember getting all 100 takes quite a bit of time, and uh, you know, it's it is a real pain. All right, so let's save this up here. All right, so this is the slave mill, as you can see. Definitely doesn't look very good. So there's one person they were supposed to talk to. Get weapon from Marco. All right. I'm gonna guess. Okay, so that's to start. So I'm gonna go over here and talk to Marco. I believe this is Marco. Okay, where's Marco? Okay, slave, slave. So you're the. Oh shit! I went the wrong way. Good to see a little enthusiasm for once. Okay, so I don't want to follow him just yet. Okay, I guess... Look, Scab, you don't want my attention. Okay, so I guess maybe... Okay, I guess we can't talk to him right now. So I guess we just have to follow him. 
Here's the door. Get out there and grab some ingots. Don't come back without at least ten. Turn them into me and I'll see if I can slip a little something your way. I will break you the fucking half. Get back to work. Okay, so as you can see, he basically says that he'll give you stuff if you do more than ten. Oh man, I am not looking forward to this. So we got two ingots right here. How do I get out of here? Oh, this way. Alright, so we gotta search this whole area for more than ten. Um, Brother John John. You remember me, don't you, Billy? Billy? Here we help this guy out. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get in there. Oh! Can we get in there? Can we help him? My poor brother. <laughs> oh, geez, that's not good. Billy. <laughs> All right. Oh jeez. So these are the the trogs that they were talking about. Basically, the people just turned into like these monster things. Oh jeez. All right. Okay. Alright, let's try and find them. I can see why they say you get in and out as fast as you can. What are these? Oh, robots. Oh man. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, so they were over here. Are there any... Oh, there's some more gates here. So we got that one and that one. Just a random slave outfit. Uh, okay, so what do these, these guys have? Anything? Oh, teddy bear. Nice. Alrighty. Oh, I got a baseball bat. Perfect. That'll help me out a lot, actually. All right, so let's uh, go this way. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I guess guns are the way to go. Um, oh, jeez, that's not good. Come on, aim in the head, come on. Oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm probably gonna die. Thank God. All right. Holy crap. All right. Um, oh, we got some more in here. Ow. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, I'm kind of trapped now. Okay, how many do we have? Seven. Okay, let's just be really quick. Run. Um, 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 um. Okay. Oh. Right away. We've got some healing items, thank god. Okay. Um. Sniper. Red group. What? Reputation? Uh -oh. Sure, I guess. I, oh god. I'm probably gonna die. Um... Holy crap. Alright. Um, how many do we got now? We got nine. Oh, jeez. Oh. Ah. So, as you can see, this, uh, like I said, this, this DLC is pretty dangerous, too. Blue pass card. That's weird. Okay. Um, okay, let's go down here. Or don't break them out. There we go. So we got, yeah, so we got 10. Um, maybe we'll take a look around a tiny bit more. Okay, what's in here? I'm probably going to regret this, let's be honest. Is there anything back here? Probably not. Probably death. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh God, this is gonna be bad. Ah, shit. Yo, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so I ended up cutting out like a lot of that, um, cause it took a long time, to be honest. So I, I went back. I found the ten when I reloaded. I uh, found the 10. I did a lot of exploring, um, and it was, it was pretty hard. I had to do it a couple of times, uh, but I came across 39 of them. I don't know if that's going to get me anything extra, um, aside from the 10. Like, I know he said he's going to give me extra if I do good, um, but yeah. So, I explained, like I said, I explored a bit, um, and then I got a bunch of them, but I didn't want it to be kind of boring to just be running around because all it is is literally just all that Literally, it's just scrap and whatever um, So I don't want to waste your guys time with all that so I found 39 of them and now let's go back in to see what this guy has to say Oh, where is he? Oh, I guess we have to go all the way back Oh, jeez. Jesus. Alright. Okay, let's see if he has anything for us. Well, now. Look who made it back. I'll take those ingots, scab. You just get back. You got a real knack for this. Here. This might help you work a little harder. Original owner can't use it anymore on account of decapitation. Here are a few more ingots. Nothing like some heavy labor, huh? Guess I could spare this. Filtration helmet. More metal for the mill. Yeah. Looks like you earned it. If you're heading back out there, these ought to help you with the trods. Guess your knuckles, all right? I'll just take those. Not right now. All right. So, I wonder, I want to try something. So, let's save this here. So, if I take off the sleigh robes and put on, like, the Gamma Shield. Oh. Mill always needs more metal. Okay, so I guess they're not going to do anything to me now. Um. Okay, so let's just. Oh, jeez. Uh. 
Um, where's that helmet? Filtration helmet. Let's take a look at this. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, laborer outfit. No, let's put that metal armor. Gamma shield armor. Alright. We did the 10. Doop doop doop. Okay, requires key, so. Return to Medea. So I don't want to return to Medea just yet. Brand. You're new, aren't you? Are you here from the Eerie Stretch? The capital wasteland? Ronto? Where's home? What do you want to know? Well, since you might be able to help me, I'll let you in on a little secret. The slaves are always planning all sorts of things. I find out what's going on and let the bosses know, and they let me shrug off some of the work we did. Good deal, huh? If you hear anything, you should let me know. Okay. Yeah, no, we're not going to talk to him. Um, I want to find the guy who had the... Uh, who are that guy who we're supposed to talk to? Slave, slave. So I don't know where he is. Oh well, we'll probably get one of those saw things eventually. Um, okay. Scrap metal is always good. All right, let's save it. Okay, so let's return to Medea. Who's this? You seem so calming philosophy aside. Yeah, obviously it kinda hurts. <laughs> Keep it pinned down. Huh? Yeah, whatever. All right, so let's see what she has to say. Good. Just in time. Asher has ordered everyone into the square. Rumor has it that he's going to open up the arena. That's perfect for us. Arena? Before I go anywhere, you're going to explain this plan to me. It's simple, really. From time to time, Asher opens up the arena. Any slave who wants to can fight against the gladiators. If you win, you get your freedom. More importantly, you get an audience with Asher. It's the only way a slave will ever get to talk to him directly. You fight, you win, and when you talk to Asher, you take the cure. And he'll just give it to me? Not exactly, no. Werner has a distraction planned. We haven't been making these weapons for nothing, you know. But when you're meeting with Asher, you'll be close enough to grab the cure. Get it and bring it to me. Now let's get out there and listen to Asher's speech. We'll be hell to pay if the guards catch us in here. All right, so let's go talk to, or listen to his uh, speech here. I bring you good news. We stand at the dawn of a new golden age where others merely survive. We thrive. And while I have led your efforts it has been by your own strength that you have earned all the envy of the world. And most of all, they envy our victories in the struggle for freedom. Because yes, freedom is what we all work and so, towards. To celebrate this struggle, I ask my loyal workers, who among you is prepared to fight for your freedom? Right here. We have one. This man here will fight in the hole. Come on, Asher. Will you send someone to the Sir, hole? Sir, you carry not only the dream that workers can become free, but that we may all someday become truly you. free from the threats Dismissed. of our world. She sets up the fights. Alrighty, well, I think I'm actually going to leave this episode here. Um, so, in the 
uh, next episode, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, fight in the arena. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, the first episode of The Pit. Um, like I said before, uh, The Pit's a dangerous place, as you can see, uh, with the, the trogs and stuff. And they don't give you a lot of health items in this as well. It kind of reminds me a little bit of... Um, Oh, what's that add-on called? Um, uh, Dead Money from New Vegas. Um, in the sense of difficulty, um, that they don't give you a lot of health items. Uh, it's very dangerous. You got the radiation. Uh, you got the, the dangerous enemies and stuff like that. Um, so it, it's similar in, in that aspect. Um, again, uh, I didn't want to have you guys watch me run around the steel yard because it is boring there's nothing really there and it's a very very big area um, I did climb a tower uh, killed some of the wild men um, who are people who are infected with this uh, disease um, who are in the midst of, of turning they're going crazy so they get to attack everybody uh, they're the mid stage of the drug disease kind of thing um, when I got to the top, there was, there was a whole bunch of ingots up there, um, and then so I just uh, worked my way back down, and it's very confusing because I got, I got lost for a little while there, and um, so it took me a little while to get back, um, but then when I got back, I started recording again, as you guys saw, and uh, we moved forward. Uh, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, feel free to leave a uh, comment subscribe tell your friends about me all that fun kind of stuff and i will see you in the next episode of the pit